In the amateur video market, ghetto beatdowns are the hottest thing going, and they're gaining in popularity. Real people really getting beat down and really beating down DVD competition. We sat down with Darnell Royce, the man responsible for the beatdown phenomenon. Well, basically, what had happened was I was getting busy with my girl, taping it for later, and then my wife barged in, and they started tussling, kept the camera rolling, and uh, when it was all done, my girl had lost some teeth, and my wife, she got her eye socket broke out and some hair pulled out. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's just one of those rare days when everything goes right. <laughs> Since that day, Darnell has caught hundreds of beatdowns on tape. He started selling them out of the trunk of his car, and by late last year, swap meat sales of Ghetto Beatdown 9 surpassed $3 million. It was a grassroots entertainment phenomenon. But recently, Darnell's sales have been dwindling. Harvey Silverstein, producer of the 80s sitcom That's My Robot, recently released his own Ghetto Beatdown DVD. In its first two weeks, it has outsold Darnell's last three volumes combined. Why do you think your DVDs do so well? I am using high-def 24p widescreen video. And of course, there's the talent. They're angry, and they have nothing to live for. But Darnell is crying foul. He claims Harvey's beatdowns are not real, and the combatants are hired actors. They stole jazz, rock and roll, and now they're trying to steal whoop. <laughs> he done ruined the wonder and the beauty of two people beating it out each other. But how do you know that they're fake? All right, look here. Tell you know like what that. I got to say. Oh, I gotta hear what you I got to say. say. Oh. She right there. If that was a real whoop, she never would have put a 40 down. She'd have drank it first and then whooped up on that fool wolf it. Chocolate News recently uncovered the location of Harvey's next beatdown shoot. I decided to go undercover and find out the truth. With a glasses cam and a hidden microphone, I signed on as an extra and reported to work. And this is the footage I recorded with my hidden camera on the set of Harvey's latest video. You are a street hoe, and your pimp has fired you. Oh, so this is really about loneliness and betrayal. Whatever. Alan! Alan! Yes, Mr. Sir. What are the lines in this scene now? Hoe number one says, you can work it, but you can't work my corner. And hoe number two says, move me, and I will you up. All right! 